Oh, what's going on, everybody? Shout out to all those people on Obstacles of Opportunity. We are in the building with another one. Everyone loves to hate Tesla. <laughs> Woo, man, that thing is loud. Let's get started in the video. Today, you guys are going to actually see a factory, a billion dollar factory, right? So often when I'm reading the comment section, unfortunately, I hear a lot of people talking smack. They talk jack, right? They talk pretty crazy about the company, but they don't know anything about the company, right? They're like, oh, it's not going to work out. It's not going to happen. But they're not reviewing the footage like we're going to be reviewing the footage. So today we're going to be looking at the process of a billion dollar factory. And this is the cutting edge technology that I'm speaking about that Tesla has as an advantage, right? We're going to do a little bit of this and then we're going to go to Sandy Monroe because he was invited inside the factory. So Tesla is currently has four production facilities, California, Shanghai, Berlin, and Texas. And for their four vehicle ramp, like we got a lineup, we got our vehicles and here we go. We're going to actually, and they're showing the factories. Look at this factory guy. This is cutting edge. This is nothing. This is no joke, Ting Man. Okay, Mega Press, everything. Like we're going full stop here. All right. And so we got the blank sheet. We're going to start off with a blank sheet, right? When we're actually building out the car, the blank sheet is the first step in producing. Process starts where the sheet metal rolls are laser cut for the manufacturing body panels. So here we go. Bring it down the sheets. Boom, put them onto the belt. Look at that. That's how it starts off in a coil and a roll. They cut. After they're cut, they're picked up. This is all robotics, guys. Right? Cut the sheet metal panels and they're transported to the stamping line where body panels are formed for assembly. We're putting those down. Let's see if we got a little noise. All right, here we go. Get a little background noise going so we can hear the factory going. And Tesla used the stamping process to produce the body panels out of cut sheet metal. And the process consists of four steps, blanking, piercing, bending, and deep drawing. So we're diving into the factory. See, this is nobody's going through the footage, right? They're spending more time reviewing the footage for the NFL and the Super Bowl, but not in these companies when they're talking about is Tesla going to fail or not? And for further assembly processes, the piercing operation consists of the creation of holes and openings required. Look at that. All machinery work. IP right here. We're getting a POV. And bending is the... All right, so bending is the deformation of the sheet metal to produce angles and curves that gives the rough form of the final body panel. Moving through the factory, baby. Let's go. See, we're, we're on ground zero with this. This operation is followed by deep drawing to give a more three-dimensional shape in the final body panel form. Let me go ahead and put myself down here. So you see the guys, we got the normies at the end. Finalized panels enter the quality control stage. So this is where the humans are just looking over, making sure everything's good. And where they are visually inspected to ensure they conform with the high quality standards of Tesla. So it's just going by, they're double checking, making sure everything works out. And you see this, this is where Optimus would come into play, where they're just picking it up and they're going to put it on that actual rack back there. This is simple, something that robots could do, right? And then Tesla vehicles are built with a combination of aluminum and light weighting and high strength steel for safety critical areas of the frame and body. We're going down another quality control. This is the entire factory, guys. You get to see it up front. So when people say they don't do this, you get to see it. Now, this is an important process. Another process used for vehicle frame parts is our in-house casting procedure known as Giga Press. This is a 
important aspect, okay, of the manufacturing process. If you guys ever seen a machine that is a mold injecting machine, this is kind of similar. A big old stamp. Look at that power, just sheer power, guys. And this process is used for the production of large single piece parts, such as the rear underbody of a Model Y and etc. Look at that big old giga press. Machine goes in there, brings that piece out. That used to be thousands of pieces before being weld, weld and bolted together. Now it's just one piece. All right. Other advantages are improved structural rigidity, an increase in production efficiency, and a decrease in manufacturing costs. And then, of course, the efficiency, production efficiency reduces on human error because it's just one big press. There go my homie inspecting it. And the cast components are inspected prior to continuing to the vehicle frame assembly process. We're moving, guys. Who else do you know? Make Look at this factory, the machine that builds the machine. It's ridiculous. Look at that gorgeous. So body in white. BIW production process uses two main jointing methods, robotic spot welding for the vehicle frame and laser welding for the vehicle body. Look at this. Come on, guys. We're getting the job done. And then robots are used through the BIW process as it is a part of the full automated philosophy implemented by Tesla. Gorgeous, man. Look at this. Using a robot equipped it with articulated arms, the vehicle frame is transported on to the assembly line. There we go. Look at that. Robots use special markers and mark down the spot where body panels are to be welded and framed. Look at this. Look at this, man. Automated up until this point. And then pre assembled vehicle body modules are added to the underbody frame and to join via spot welding. So, guys, what other company are you seeing doing this? Look at this. This is gorgeous. This is why the machine makes the machine is a real thing. But a lot of people aren't a part of this. Exterior body panels are set in position by articulated arms and welding robots to set them in place permanently. But we're having conversations about Elon Musk and Twitter instead of diving deep into the factory and seeing what's going on. What gives them the competitive edge, guys? And then seam welds are applied in the interior of the vehicle frame to secure the body panels to the chassis better. Look at this. Nobody's showing you this game footage. This is like the NFL footage, man. When you guys be looking at like a wide receiver or QB, this is this is the end of the end of field footage of a company and what they do. If you know, you know. Robots perform an initial inspection of the BIW by using cameras to ensure an assembly is up to standard. So cameras and robotics are still being used at that phase for inspection. And look how far the cars came now. Look at that. Gorgeous. Man, come on. Giga factories. No wonder why China wants to copy us. Man, you you trying to copy us, China. You're trying to be like us. Prior to entering the painting process, technicians perform a quantitative inspection of the assembly and surface finish. So quality control, as you see, the humans are right there checking it out, making sure everything's up to standard. Because up until this you know, point, it hasn't been many of it. 
And this, so this is where the, the kind of dexterity is required. So we need actually people on the floor. And then we got seam sealers are applied to door panels and trunk areas and other relevant areas, which help prevent water ingress and provide sound installation. Thank you, seam sealers. We got to get, we got the guys underneath the car seat. Look how far the cars come. This is, this is amazing. Okay, so Tesla employs e-coding and painting process where the primer, uh, the primer, excuse me, and the primer is applied through the bath method followed by base coat and paintwork inspection. Guys, and remember, that was just sheets of metal previously. A roll of metal, not even sheets, just a roll of metal when it previously came in. Now it's getting baptized. Using paint and robots, we do during the base coat process involves implying a precision and controlled amount of it to achieve consistent coverage and color accuracy. So we got our homies, the robots, we got our graffitiists there and they're painting the car. Cherry red, beamer red. And we got our guys coming inside and doing their own little footwork. And then once that is applied, the clear coat is added to provide gloss protection and depth into paint finish. There we go. We got the vehicle. Look how far we came just from robots. Now this is where a lot of humans come into play. And then painted vehicles after the light tunnel for visual inspections of the paintwork to ensure there are no defects. So we got guys going in there just double checking, making sure that the paint is up to standards. Once again, a lot of quality control you guys can see. These allegations of Tesla that hasn't got good build quality is absurd. And with the preparation of materials such as lithium, cobalt, nickel, and in graphite, the battery cell production process begins. Okay, now we're producing batteries. Vertical integration, guys. Vertical integration. Not acquiring them, waiting for them to come from Samson or anybody else. We got them right here. And this is followed by the production of positive and negative electrodes, also known as cathodes and anodes, which consists of three steps. This is all here. Raw form material, creating the battery, battery processing for the car. Active materials, lithium, cobalt, et cetera, mixed with other additives. We're making the batteries. Vertical integration, as I said earlier, when I gave you guys an example of what vertical integration meant. And then, and then using a continuous wet and dry coating process, the slurry is then coated onto thin metal foil, such as aluminum for the cathode and the copper. Come on. We're walking you through the entire process. Nobody cares about this lady. You keep talking about it. Come on, cut it out. Look at all those batteries. Money, 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 money. And efficiency. Efficiency. Right? They're dried, removed solvents, and then prepared for stability. Look at that. Woo Come on, man. Show me the money. Followed by assembly stage where the positive and negative electrodes are combined in between the cell layered structures. So now that we're going to put it inside the structure of the vehicle. We're going to move to that point. But right now, they're just making sure that the batteries are sealed tight. After the electrodes are assembled, the battery cells undergo formation process, which involves initial charging. Look at that, look at that stack. Boom, look at that, man, the engine is created. Then the cells are packaged in modules providing convenient packaging, thermal management, and electrical connections for the final battery pack. Look at that, boom, guys. The engine, the monster is created.
the integrated and a final body repack, which includes additional components, sensors, wiring, and et cetera. And there you go. It forms the base of the car. It has all the batteries and the components. And to fit the vehicle's specific layout, the battery pack is designed to provide the necessary power and energy to drive the vehicle. We're almost there, guys. This is a POV of the factory. Then we're going to come back with another video with Monroe going through it and the engineers actually explaining. The wiring harness is installed and secured with brackets to the vehicle frame to allow for later connection of electric and electronic components. There we go. See, now we got the humans coming in, right? They're doing a lot of the work that has a lot of dexterity to it. And with the help of a dashboard alignment jig, the dashboard is added to the vehicle assembly that allows for precision positioning of the sub assembly. So we just put the dashboard in there like boom. So it's like one piece, click, click, like Legos. A little bit more complicated, but like Legos. <laughs> Articulated arm installs the ceiling panel. So there we go. We got that big old panel at the top. He's just going to swoop and dunk that right in there. The axis, here we go. The axle sub assemblies, which include braking system and electric motors. The electric motors in there, right, are installed on the vehicle by bolting them under the body. So see the car is forming, it's moving, it's moving. This is why we got 40 seconds efficiency, 40 seconds off the line. Front seats, rear seats are installed in the vehicle frame through railings and with the aid of a specialized carrier. There we go. That's done separately. Then the car comes over and down for the swoop. Here we go. Seat belts and other internal components are installed, specialized technicians to final, finalize the interior of the vehicle. So we need those people to go in there because what needs to be put in there, you need massive amounts of dexterity. Look at that, that looks comfortable guys. The battery pack is added to the vehicle and connected to the powertrain and other electric components. Boop, boop. Put that in there like a Lego underneath. Battery pack installed. Let's roll. Look at our team. Shout out to these employees. See, guys, these people right here are getting the job done. You guys are always caught up on what the hell Elon Musk is saying. It's these people right here in the red shirts. It's these robots. It's these engineers. It's the managers that's making it happen. Let's go. Tires are added to the vehicle, and the vehicle undergoes an alignment process. Robots test with robots. A vehicle undergoes inspection stage during the production to ensure no defects carried over. And look at them. Look at that. 40 seconds off the line. You wonder why. And when the vehicle passes through the rain tunnel, the water is sprayed onto the varying pressures to check for leakage into the interior. So we're double checking. Look at that. Quality. Somebody arguing about the quality. I don't know what they're talking about. And here comes the Tesla. That's an older model. Tesla wise offered Z dual motor, AW all wheel drive configuration allows for the maximum power of 384 horsepower and a maximum torque of 376. Come on, man. So you see, this is the efficiency that Tesla has, but we want to talk about other stuff. We want to argue about the nonsense. We want people to go back and forth and whether the company is the asset or whether the company is not. We're out here making things happen. Big man thing. Big man thing for Tesla. Big man thing for shareholders. And that's just the IP around the manufacturing process. Tesla's been able to recreate and innovate just along those lines, let alone 
once we start applying that same process for the batteries, we're doing great. We're doing when we start refining lithium ion down in Texas. We're going to kill it where we're actually making Optimus robots. We're killing it when we make mega packs. We're killing it in production, period. BIW production and munch facility is fully automated and divided into substations that perform specific tasks. We're out here getting it done. So while y'all ain't out here even brushed your teeth yet, don't even know what the company is about, never seen this detailed footage and looked at the process from start to, to finish, but want to comment online, this is why we don't worry about it. We're in the zone. We're in the zone looking at details, going through the factory, hitting the ground instead of just staying in the suites with the charts. ABB articulated arms and welding robots perform tasks corresponding to a specific panel or area of the vehicle. This spells efficiency to me all over. I don't know what you guys see when you watch this process. Now, go and look in Toyota. Go and look at Ford. Go and look at GM. This is why our margins are on point. Not because of Tesla and him just talking nonsense on Twitter or talking his personal. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with this. Resistant spot welding is preferred joining method as it provides structural rigidity and does not affect the appearance of the vehicle. Let's keep going. Keep doing what you're doing right now. Because you're showing these rookies with a fortune cookie that we're nothing to play with. They never seen nothing like that. Finish BIW into inspection for visual examination. Go ahead and wash them cars out. Wash it out. Now walk it out. This is why we have the competitive advantage, guys. This is why Japan, or excuse me, this is why China wants us to be inside their country. Because we get stuff done. And this is a high level of manufacturing. This is a high level of assembly. We're not only manufacturing the cars, we're manufacturing the batteries. Vertical integration is an all-time high. It's only becoming more effective and efficient. Mm -hmm. Tesla's only taking time to strategize to corner the market when it comes down to refining lithium ion because nobody could do it better than possibly the teams at Tesla. And so they're going to make it happen. And once they start doing that also, the margins are high on refining lithium ion. It's software operating margins, 50. 40 to be conservative, but 40 plus. So we're going to be making massive amounts of money when we get that plant up and running and we start having our own production of material for the batteries in which we're also producing. Vertical integration, guys. So nobody knows this. Most people are not knowing this. Most people in the suites, right? JP Morgan, Merlin Lynch, and all these other guys are not actually, you haven't seen any suits come down to the factory and check it out. Have you? I haven't. So why are we relying on them to provide us the information about a company which they know little about? Right? Shout out to BMW. They're trying to do their thing. They're trying to be like Tesla, but they're not. Look at their factory. It already looked inferior. Come on, man. Look at their factory. Hold on, man. There was a big difference between the factory that you saw with Tesla, the billion dollar giga factories, and this factory. Look at this factory. It's not the same. We're not created equal. All things aren't created equal. I know y'all try to pass the Equality Act, but when it comes down to it, this is not the same. I think the car's even driving. <laughs> and put miles on your car already. But shout out to them. They're attempting to do something nice. They're attempting to, to be with the big boys. But everybody can't be with the big callers. The, the big ballers and the shot callers, right? And so in the next video, I'm going to do a better one where Sandy Monroe actually goes through the whole entire factory, right? And they're taking in and explaining the process. Monroe live. They're walking through. We got managers out here showing them how the whole entire process operates, right? Showing how the panels are blank, bent, and built. Walking through the whole entire process. And one thing I wanted to highlight is, let's say Sandy Monroe is X, Y, and Z. You're not going to listen to him. Okay, roger that. Let's go down to the comment section, right? So let's say, good to see my sector, the Cybertruck stamping, and being shown to the public like this for the first time. 
And here goes the guy, aging, 75 Canadian man here. My specialty before retiring was designing and manufacturing electronic instruments for the geophysic community. And in tiny prod production volumes, mostly had our hand assembly and in but high level or high value, excuse me. And here I see the flip side of modern tech, high volume providing max manufacturing efficiency to the most cost effective vehicles for the masses. Glad to be alive to see this. Many thanks to Mr. Monroe. People are out here, man. There's another guy in the comment section that was from Japan, I believe. Hold on. Where was he? People are like amazing to see this. I've never seen anything like this. It's just super interesting. There's people who's been in the industry. Here we go. Uh, the respect given to Sandy and the entire Tesla team. The best video I have seen of the manufacturing plant. The factory is so clean and pristine. Here we go. For all of the 10 years that I have been working in Japan as an engineer with electronics manufacturers, I never could see more than a second of an assembly line. This tour is just so deep and amazing. Like, guys, now this is what we're seeing firsthand. Shout outs to Monroe live. Here you go. Oh, shout out to him. I thought I was subscribed. I might be subscribed to the other channel. So, He's walking them through the whole entire factory. They'll be explaining a lot. 80% utilization, whatever he's talking about at the time. And so this is what I'm talking about. This is why everyone loves to hate Tesla because they're doing well. <laughs> everyone loves to hate Tesla, but you guys are going to start to see during this playlist that I'm providing after I hit you with the hitters of showing you what happened on the ground instead of people crying in their little silos and just want to regurgitate talking points later. It's like, I don't, I don't believe Tesla. I don't believe Elon. Uh, I don't like him because, you know, he, he likes steak, like, you know, just nonsense that has nothing to do with it. Like, come on, man. People are just hating for no reason. Give them the buzzer. So thanks for checking out another one. Everyone loves to hate Tesla regardless. You guys have seen the entire process of one of the entire prices at one of the gigafactories. And these are billion dollar gigafactories that they're building in America and building across the world. So if there's any company that you guys want to invest in, and I mean with your money, not only when you guys vote politically, you guys got to vote with your dollar. Vote for the companies who are actually here for you. Companies that are bringing back jobs. So why are you voting for GM? Why are you voting for Ford? Why are you voting for other companies which don't open up shops, which don't open up factories, which don't build plants. It's almost, it doesn't make sense to me. Not only just in car manufacturing, but they're opening other businesses in refineries, right? Lithium ion refinery, like that's being opened. Battery production, that is being opened. The car manufacturing is open. The mega packs and the batteries for national grids, that is open. Power walls. Auto insurance, software engineering, software developers, cloud engineers, like all these jobs are opening for this one company because this one company is opening massive amounts of different businesses. Shout out to Nevada. Like upscaling those businesses, building on them even more, making the factories even larger, taking up more land, providing more opportunity for you guys. And still, you guys want to prefer other companies. It doesn't make any sense. What is the company to do after they continue to fight for you? So be a part of the team that loves Tesla and don't be a part of everyone who hates Tesla. Thank you for watching this stream. Thank you for watching this video, excuse me. And shout outs to everybody watching the video and shout outs to the one and only. And if you guys want to see the next episode of everyone loves to hate Tesla, then give me a... Give me a hell yeah! yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah.